guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another what's on my face video. Now, I like to think of these as my version of a get ready with me or maybe even a makeup journal. It's just kind of what is on my face on this particular day when I'm filming. I like to do these ever so often, especially when I'm using kind of newer products or switching things up. So if you're interested in finding out what I used to get this makeup look, just keep watching. Okay, so I have all my products in this little tray, so let's start off with what I used for my base today. This was a little bit of an experiment. Usually I always do my eyeshadow first and then I do my foundation. And I was feeling like trying something, so I've had this Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation for quite some time and I've used it maybe once or twice. And this was on sale during the VIB sale, so it was in their sale section. So I decided to pick it up because I have tried the Dior Air Flash Foundation, but I couldn't find the right shade at the time. Now they have expanded the shade range since I purchased that one, but I'm not going to repurchase from Dior. So I decided to pick this guy up and see how it worked out. I did get the shade Matte Tan, and so I think it's a decent match. I can't 100% tell you guys just yet, but I made the mistake of doing my eyeshadow first and then spraying this on. So it was okay when I was like down here, but when I was trying to get like my nose and stuff, it actually ended up like splattering on my eyeshadow, which was a hot mess. So I had to stop and kind of put more shadow on over my eyeshadow that I already done, so that was kind of a pain in the butt. But I am going to try this when I don't have eyeshadow on and spray it all over my face. I know some people when they're using airbrush foundations like this that come in a can, they just spray it on their hand and then use a beauty sponge, but I was just so curious on if it would give me a really airbrush look if I just sprayed this on my face. So I will report back once I have more time to kind of experiment. So then to kind of make up for the patchiness, I decided to grab for my Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid, and this is in the shade 7.0. Now this is a foundation where a lot of people love it because it just looks like your skin, but it has decent coverage. I must say I'm not a huge fan of this foundation, but I feel like it's mostly because I haven't really given it a good shot. So I decided to use this today, and I also paired it with the Urban Decay Velvetizer. Now you guys know I very recently picked this up. I will actually be featuring it in my March haul video, so check out that video. If it's up, I will link it up in the cards for you guys to watch. But I've heard really good things about this product from Andrea Matiliano, and I believe these two are supposed to be used together. This powder is kind of like a thickening agent, and it also helps like make it more bulletproof, I believe. And so I mixed them together, and I honestly feel like I definitely think my makeup lasted longer and it does look more full coverage. So I'm really excited, but it's hard to say because I did have this on too. So tomorrow I'm definitely going to try and use these two together and see if my makeup lasts as good as it did today. I do have to tell you guys, I do my makeup before I go to work. So I've had this makeup on since 7.30 a.m. And when I'm filming this, it's 6.30 p.m. So I feel like I've definitely given it... A lot of wear plus I usually like I'm moving around at work and I'm sweating and stuff so I, I think it lasted really really well so very happy about that my setting spray for the day or for the week is this little fix plus and I believe this is the coconut scent yeah this is the coconut scent this is one of the bottles I picked up before they decided to make the Mac fix plus scent full size and permanent I'm still a little salty about that but I love Fix Plus so much and I honestly think it's such an amazing spray so if you haven't had a chance to check it out I would highly encourage you to do so. The next item is my liquid lip. Now I have been trying to wear my Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lips this week and I must say this is probably my all time favorite shade. This is Lolita and I just love this shade. It's just so flattering on my skin tone. If you have a tan medium complexion like I do, honestly I know it's kind of basic but it's so lovely and I love this formula and it lasts all day and it is very comfortable. So this is my go-to liquid lip shade when I don't know what else to wear. Now for mascara, I used my Benefit Roller Lash. This one is good at 
kind of defining your lashes, not really much else to be completely honest. And I have been trying this little sample I got. This is a Smashbox Super Fan fanned out mascara and I got this in like a Macy's order or something and I was excited to try it but I don't see any like massive differences. It does have kind of a smaller wand so it is nice to kind of get in that lower lash line and stuff but it's nothing crazy. I personally prefer drugstore mascaras but when I get a chance to try out a sample of course I'm going to do it so just wanted to give you my two cents on that. Now, one more item that's kind of a boring one, and then we'll kind of get into some more fun items. My concealer of the day is this one. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. You guys know I talk about this all the time. It's in a project pan. I haven't hit pan yet, but I feel like I'm getting close. I just love this so much. If you have dry under eyes like I do, I would 100% recommend it. It's so creamy. I usually use a dome-shaped concealer brush to blend it in under my skin, and then I set it with a powder. The powder I use to set it is, of course, my Hourglass Compact, and I use this shade right here, which is Ambient, which is a lighting powder, and I love it. It's very smooth and awesome. Again, another item in my Project Pan. I feel like I've shown you guys this a million times. And it's also the blush I'm wearing today. I just mixed these two shades together today because I was like running a little bit low on time. And then now for some newer items in my collection. I have been loving this sponge. This is one of the newer sponges by the Sonia Kashuk line which is available at Target. You can pick these up individually or you can get a pack of two for 10 bucks which is what I did. I have a clean one in my beauty sponge drawer that I will use once I dirty this one up but it's super good. It's very soft and very bouncy and you know is really nice for applying foundation so I 100% love that and would recommend that to any of you guys. So for highlighter today I went all Anastasia. I have been loving the Omrizi highlighter. I picked it up because I couldn't deny how gorgeous it was and I was like I know I have a million gold highlighters but I just want this one too so I bought it and I knew I had So Hollywood and I was like no Karen like you don't need the Omrizi one. If they were similar people would be talking about it on the internet but guess what? Nobody that I watch on the internet was talking about how similar these highlighters are. And uh, they're freaking similar, guys. They're pretty much identical. I'm actually wearing So Hollywood today because, as you can tell, this is in pristine condition. This was one of those highlighters that was so hyped that I bought it and then it just sat in my makeup collection and I didn't even remember to use it. And then once I got this one, I'm like, shit, they look the same. And uh, they are. I was actually swatching this on my Instagram and I had a little poll up and I was like, uh, did I just get played? And most people said yes because these look so freaking similar. Honestly, I can't tell a difference. So this is the Amrizi one and this is so Hollywood. Like, this is insane. Like, what a freaking waste of money. So what I decided to do this week was I'm going to test both of them out and see if I feel they're that similar. I really need to be responsible and just return this one even though the packaging is gorgeous and I really want to like support collabs but I mean this is like you're getting played. So if you have So Hollywood I wouldn't buy this one because it is a freaking waste of money and now I really just want to add some more highlight because I love this highlighter on my skin tone and uh, you know we gotta be popping on Instagram and stuff you know did I say Instagram I meant YouTube so also this is my go-to highlighting brush if you guys are looking for affordable face brushes Real Techniques makes amazing products and this is actually their setting brush but I love it for highlighter it is nice and dense and it has a really cool shape so it picks up a lot of product and blends it out really really well so I do love that as well and it is the highlighter brush I'm using for this week for bronzer I did use the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade mahogany these things are extremely pigmented you don't need to really swirl your brush around as you can see I swirl my brush around so there's a lot of kick up but tomorrow when I use this I'm not gonna keep dipping in I'm just gonna lightly tap and go I feel like this might be a little bit too dark for me so I did pick up the shade saddle 
I'm gonna compare them and we'll see how it works out if one is better than the other. I love a good bronzer. I actually don't have a lot of bronzers. I have like under 10 bronzers in my makeup collection, which I'm actually really freaking proud of. But uh, yeah, I, I wanted to say no to the Anastasia one because I wanna pan more of my bronzers be before I introduce things into my collection, but I was just too tempted and Macy's had their VIP sale, so of course I like caved like a ton of bricks and bought it, okay? So the last item is this Misha Lu palette. Now I picked this up from Misha Lu's website and this is the Witchcraft palette. So I first saw Angelica Nyquist talking about this in one of our Rely Bite videos and it just spoke to me on like a higher spiritual level. And I picked it up and I have been testing it out over the last week or so, so look forward to a review. Personally, I love it because look at this eye look. It's very mauve -y. It's very current, I would say, and it is neutral for me. So I think it's great because there's a little bit of everything. The green shades are like a fun pop of color. Green is my favorite color, so I'm excited for this palette. But if I'm not feeling like going like bold, crazy greens, I can just, you know, use the neutral palette or the neutral shades in the palette and still create a really cool look. I'm also wearing this shade which is called Black Witch in my outer crease. I use the shade, uh, what is it, Maiden on my lid. I used a little bit of the shade Magic on my lid as well. I really like the shade Magic. It's like one of those beautiful like blue-green shades. And I also love using the shade Wand in my crease. So if you're thinking about getting this palette, I would totally recommend it. They also have two other palettes that are more neutral. But I have so many neutral palettes, I just went straight for this crazy colored one. So very, very happy to have that in my collection. Okay guys, that is everything for today's What's On My Face. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this little series. And uh, let me know if you have any questions on any of these products. I would love to hear from you in the comment section. I do upload every other day, so you do get quite a bit of content from me. And if you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing. I will catch you in my next video, guys. Bye!